Mess in your garden can be a challenge. Whether or not to use organic or chemical pesticides is a decision that the individual gardener has to make. Myself, I prefer to use organic methods whenever possible, but sometimes I have to use chemical pesticides. Today we're going to look at pests in my avocado trees and how I take care of them. But first, if you like this channel, go ahead and hit the like, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section. So I was checking my multi-grafted avocado tree out this morning to see how if there was any insect damage and it's doing pretty darn good. I did notice a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what was attacking it, but uh, avocado trees in my area generally are not really affected too much by insect pests. Squirrels and gophers and, and uh, rats sometimes attacking the fruit can be a problem, but insect pests, other than snails and slugs, maybe the occasional uh, pincher bug, it just doesn't really seem to affect uh, my avocado trees that much. We'll take a look at my pest control, but first let's look at how my fruit are doing on this multi-grafted avocado tree. Here we got lamb hash sizing up very good. They, uh, the tree fruited, uh, excuse me, flowered about a month ago and they're coming right along. There you see some Mexicola Grande. Uh, I don't like that how the branches tend to be lanky until they leaf out. There's some lower Mexicola Grande where the tree has already leafed out after it flowered. Um, here is a unique situation. Here the tree did not drop its leaves from the winter time. They're starting to abscise, but the tree has already set fruit. This is the section called Big Black Johnson. And as you can see, the fruit is just fatty. I mean, it is a fat fruit. Um, but it's a new, new variety that I'll talk more about later in a different video. But here you see we got Queen. Uh, Queen is the last of my uh, grafted, uh, multi-grafted tree to set fruit. Um, so, so they're a little bit behind all the other um, branches in, in fruiting. But it has a lot of fruit. I doubt that it's going to hold on to all these fruit because Queen is a very, very big variety, averaging about two pounds or more. Uh, as you can see, it's in a, a state of growth, rapid state of growth, and today we were 100 degrees, 104, I think. So I'll do another video on the heat and its effect on my tree. But as you can see, there's really not a lot of pest damage uh, on this tree. It just doesn't seem to, uh, pests don't seem to be bothered bothering this tree. Here is an exception. I'm not sure whether or not that was caused by uh, earwigs or perhaps uh, snail damage or slug damage uh, when when the leaves were unfurling during its uh, spring growth. But, um, but I like to keep on top of those slugs and snails. I'll tell you, uh, with all the compost and uh, mulch that I have growing around the base of my avocado trees, it makes a perfect hiding space for slugs and snails. So I use this type of material. Um, I don't think it's organic, but I don't know. <laughs> all I know is that it works, but you do have to reapply it on a numerous occasions especially if there's rain or after you've watered uh, it'll probably last a couple days after you water it it tends to dissolve and but it does work with the slugs and snails you just got to keep putting it down during the growing season the the rap state of rapid growing that the avocados do the fl growth flush i should say I will put this down probably every three days for uh, uh, maybe 10 days, maybe. And, but the majority of my pest control is natural. You see here a little praying mantis. These guys will eat aphids and all kinds of mites and all that stuff. So I do my best to protect these guys because they will take care of all the problems for you. 
So my name is Jeff. If you like this channel, hit that subscribe button. Have a good day.